I finally have my plants. Oh my god. I had them rerouted to the office because otherwise it would have sat on my porch in the sun and burned up and there would go $120. So yes, plants, it's Friday. I'm going to go home and get to work on this tank. I have waited two years to build. So tonight I'll either have a very beautiful humongous tank or 40 gallons of water on the floor. <laughs> I'm terrified it's going to fall over, but I've leveled it. I have shims, everything's set. So I think it's time to get out of this office. Yay. It's time to go home and play. I didn't think I would ever, ever get home so I could do these plants, build my tank, but I had to run to the store and get my Moscato. Yes, I have my Moscato in a martini glass because that's just how I roll. I've waited two years to build this tank and I'm watching a metal detecting video. <laughs> okay, now that my <laughs> metal detecting video watching is over, let's see what we've got here. Got my packing list, I don't care about that. Let's look at the plants. All right, so. One thing I like about AquariumPlants.com, excellent customer service and excellent plants. At least the last time I ordered, they were perfect and they even threw in a few extra things I didn't even know. But right here I have narrow leaf chain sword. This will be in the foreground and around my little rocks. I gotta get those open. Um, let's see. What else do I have? Nothing else in the box. Wow, they've really, really, really packed them very well. Two bags and then this, I guess, really, really big stems. These are all potted. They're all the potted plants, so I'll be taking those out. Let's see what we have in here. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. I may have to put the camera down. Yep, I guess I will. Okay, here's what I like about AquariumPlants.com. They pack everything with plenty of water and of course it was next day air so plants didn't die. I finally got the bag open and it was in a bag, in a bag. It's full of water. You got all the soaking wet paper and here are, come on, the plants. Oh my god! <laughs> Bacopa. I got Amazons. I don't remember what I bought. It's just a little bit of everything. Compacta. Um, I think that's in here. Oh man, they smell like, um, smell like herbs. <laughs> Oh, hydrocaudal. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Pennywort, Brazilian pennywort. I've got to hurry up and get these in water. They, they've, they've been sitting in that box in my office all day. And even though they're well packed, they're very wet. Look at that. Um, yeah, they, they just need to get into some water. So what I'm going to do is get these all unpacked and get them into some treated water and then just let them sit while I build the tank. Over here I've got my my layout with the rocks and uh, these right here are going to be some sort of support for the, the sand and dirt is going to kind of slope up. So that's just kind of sitting there waiting all week and here I've got to get my driftwood out, rinse it off, get it ready but the first thing I have to do is get these unpacked and into some water. So I will be back. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I would like to buy plants um, locally or from other fish tank enthusiasts. But this is an initial setup and I wanted a great selection, this, this big selection, quantity, quality. I mean, this is the works. This is the initial setup. So. Once this is done, 
if anyone out there has any really nice plants, I will buy them just to, you know, kind of supplement the tank. Anything that doesn't work, anything I have trouble with, if it dies out or I need more, I will be buying it from fellow fish and plant enthusiasts. So I guess now I'll put them in the water. Right, so I have them now all unpacked and in this lobster pot. I mean, it's full. It's full right to the top. I try not to squish them. I don't think I squish them. I just put them in and try to keep them under the water. Um, it's going to take some time to unpack all of these plants from their little plant pot. And um can't really do that until I have the tank ready. I need to actually get... The um, I need to get the the soil in the bucket, kind of rinse it out, get it going, get it in the tank, and uh, only then can I start to take these out and start ripping them out of the um, the little plastic pots that they come in. So once I once I get started, there's no stopping. Um, you just, it's like surgery, you can't stop. You have to just keep going until the water's in and then you turn everything on or else your plants die. Um, one thing is they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous plants. They're small, so it's not going to be this instant masterpiece tank. They're small, but I've, I've done several dirted tanks and I know that in three months time with the right soil, they just, they just, they just explode, they grow. And I can't wait to see what it looks like in a few months. But for right now, it's going to be a long night. <laughs> i got to get this tank going. And then I'll have to take all this wood out and kind of rinse it off and then get it in. Um, unfortunately, I did not get my water hose. So I'm not going to be <sighs> filling it easily. I'll be hauling buckets of water to the tank. So... I guess I better get going. Well, here's one last look at my tank. Empty. In the corner. Full of crap. <laughs> I can't wait to get this together. This is going to be the best nightlight in the world. Okay, I'm ready to get started. Um, one thing I wanted to mention was the product I'm using is called Just Natural. I got this at Lowe's. I first tried this a few years ago and it was it was great. Uh, the first time I used it, I heard about how if you have a dirty tank, you get all these tannins and you you have to do all these water changes and it will be a dark tank for a long time and then finally they'll be completely leached out and you'll have a great clear bright tank unless you like a dark tank. Um, I bought this and I never never had any problem with tannins. I, it was just an instant gorgeous tank and um, I kind of forgot about this product. I went to Home Depot and bought this miracle Grow organic. It has to be organic, no pesticides or additives, no chicken litter, um, just organic soil. I bought miracle Grow, and it was like three months of constant water changes to get it to stop being <laughs> pitch black so many tannins. Um, I don't I don't prep the soil, I don't bake the soil, I don't do all of that. I'm kind of afraid of fire so I don't do that. I just put it in the tank. Um, so yeah, it's called Just Natural. I'm hoping to have the same results. Nice clear tank. If I have to do a bunch of water changes, oh well. But at least I found the product that I started with. I had great results with it. The plants were just amazing after just a month or two. So that's what I have. Just natural. Got it from Lowe's. Now, I've tried different sands. I had play sand. Cannot find pool filter sand anywhere. I'm not going to go all over the place trying to find it. Screw that. So I, I bought play sand. It choked out. It was just too, it was too fine. It was too fine and it killed all my stems. It was, the Amazons were great, but any kind of stem plant, dead instantly. So, to hell with the play sand. I, I went and spent the money, I got the aquarium sand, and I practiced, practiced 
putting some stems in there in the five gallon. They look great. They are growing. It's unbelievable. In just a few days, you can see a big change. So, 18 bucks a bag kind of sucks, but I love my plants. I spent a lot of money on these plants, a lot of money, and I don't want them to die within a week. So, I've, I've noticed that it's, it's a little coarser on the play sand, and it's worth the money. It looks good. It's what I want. So... I'm really, really happy that uh, I'm not going to hopefully kill my plants. Um, now, I don't know if you've ever seen commercials where new parents are just so freaked out about their kid and they have to do everything perfectly and then by the third kid they don't give a shit. They're running around eating mud pies, they're naked, splashing in puddles. They're pros. Well, that's the way I am with these, these dirt tanks. I used to go by the book and go through so much trouble to build the tanks. I would put the dirt in a bucket, I'd stir it up, and things would float up, I'd scoop it out, and in the sand, I would put a little bit of sand in a piece of pantyhose, and I would dip it in the water, and I'd clean it, and I would strain it. I'd do all this work to build these tanks, and it sucked. Um, I'm, I'm not like that now. I'm like, I'm like, uh, parent with the third or fourth kid, I just get the soil wet so it doesn't go flying all over the place. It holds onto the plant roots. Get it wet, throw it in, put the plants in, put the sand on. I'm done. I don't even, I don't even really rinse the sand. I, I do put a little water in. I think I did. I put it in a bowl and I kind of stirred it up and then just scooped it up by hand and put it on top. You know, I, I'm not going to do this handful at a time through a pantyhose. I don't do that anymore. And five gallon looks great. I'll show you that later on. It was actually an emergency tank just to save my filter pads that I was seeding for a month. Um, but I'll talk about that later. So, yep, it is time. Here we go. I'm going to put this dirt in this bucket and get it wet, make a mud pack, and then just start filling up this awesome tank. And uh, hopefully, by the time I go to bed, if I survive this build, I'll be looking at an awesome tank and uh, have so much fun years to come just looking at this tanks. Okay, putting my arms in here up to my elbows almost and stirring this up was one of the most disgusting things I've ever had to do. And I had to do it about three more times. Gross. Disgusting. Well, I was a bit worried I wouldn't have enough of the soil, even though I got this huge bag. I was really worried. You know, what if I needed another bag and I can't really go to the store now? Um, I'm almost done covering the bottom. I still have more than half a bag left, so I'm good to go. Just got to keep working at it and uh, get this done. Right, well, I did have enough dirt, so got the slope I want. All I have to do is put in my little rocks, kind of support it, and uh, start digging out the plants, I guess. Oh, God. I dread it. Okay, well, I have the dirt in. I have my little support rocks in there. Hopefully, they'll keep the slope where it is, and uh, I guess there's nothing left to do except dig out the plants. Right, well, got the soil in, got the rocks situated where I want them. I'm going to take them out because there's obviously going to be sand there. Um, I'm working on the layout. I've got the plants ready to go. Here we go. I mean, once I start digging these out and planting them, there's no stopping. There's no stopping. I have to start planting, adding the water, getting it done. So. This is it. I just need to get on it, I guess. All right, I've got all of the potted plants in. It's now or never. I gotta get the sand in and get some water on there right away. And I'm actually going to use the tweezers to put in the stem plants. I practiced that. Came out really good on my five gallon. So potted plants in the dirt and uh, tweezer stems in the sand. Well, I have put all the plants in. 
These right here need to be tied on eventually to the driftwood, but uh, right now I'm just, I'm done. I'm going to put the heater in, put the filter on, and uh, just get it all put together. And uh, I'll just tweak it tomorrow. I'm pretty much, pretty much spent. I am done. And uh, I got uh, forever to work on it. I got it in. Plants won't die now, so the water's in. All I have to do is change it up, tweak it, finish it off, put the finishing touches on it. But I am done. It's about midnight. And I just can't do any more. <laughs> I'm done. I quit. I'm going to put the lid on, put the light on, be done with it, and uh, let the fun begin. So, I guess what I'll do now is just process these videos. But, you know, hey, I got it. I've waited so long for this. Here it is. It's great. I just can't wait to... Um, Get that light on, get the filter going, and see what it looks like. Anyway, I will turn this off for now and get back to it. Well, I finally got the light on, got the he uh, heater on, filter running. Tired, but I'm super happy with it. I don't even know what time it is anymore. Half past midnight. This right here. I almost threw this little stump away. I didn't want to boil it. It sat in a bucket for a couple of months and then finally I'm like, you know what, I'm going to boil it. So I did that. I'm glad because I really like it. It's going to look really great. It's a little bright. It looks great to my eyes, but the camera it's just kind of blinding. I don't know what it would look like on the computer. These Anubias. I'll need to tie those on sometime tomorrow. Really, really exhausted. And I haven't even eaten yet since lunch at like noon. So I just wanted to get a little shot of functioning, lit, assembled. This is as far as I'm going right now. This is it and um, I will continue tomorrow. I won't even be able to do this video tonight. Um, but yeah, I am very happy with it. This is just the, the first night of it. After three months, four months, it's going to be so grown out, so awesome, very, very happy, very happy, very tired, very hungry, but happy. <laughs> so I am going to just sign out, process the video in the morning. When you watch this, it will be morning, possibly, so. Anyway, I really appreciate if you watch this vid, and uh, Thank you so much for taking the time you've waited and watched any of my videos to get to this point. Thank you. Um, please leave any comments. Give me any kind of constructive criticism, some advice, anything. But um, yeah, I'm, this is just something I've worked on on paper for a couple of years. And tonight I finally put it together. So early stages, early days. Can't wait to see this completely grown in and full of fish. So, Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave any comments if you'd like. Thank you.